This clip is brought to you by Within You Supplements. No bullshit, no fillers. Just great tasting supplements to help your performance. Enjoy this clip. <laughs> yeah, uh, you were talking about, um, you know, some of the fighters that lost some of the passion and some of the drive and some of, some of the motivation to keep fighting. But what if somebody hasn't even gotten in the ring? You know, somebody that's like, oh, I want to be more flexible. But even when I start stretching, it's, it's already too hard. So I'm not even motivated to try. So if somebody doesn't even have the motivation to do X, Y, and Z, how can they get into the, you know, get into the flow of things? Yeah, well, if you don't have the motivation, then that's uh, that's where it all starts, right? So you need to have a little, a bit of motivation. And I say one of the things that uh, that is uh, is really helpful is having um, and your attitude with people around you. I think if you surround yourself, if you are surrounded with uh, people that can motivate you, or if you have. Uh, uh, people that you're looking at. I, I always say, I always say to people to to uh, to to most that, you know, find someone that motivates you, and get close to him. Find someone that motivates you. Find someone you know read a lot or, or watch uh, you know on Instagram. I'm sure you're gonna have like uh, some uh, uh, some people that motivate you and some uh, some I don't know and and you just follow them and you get motivated. Like just earlier, you showed me a video of. Um, uh, Jordan yeah, Burroughs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's motivating what you just say. Like, yeah. I'm just, I just watch that and I feel like training. I'm, I'm, I'm fired up. You see what I mean? So it takes like less to fire up people. So mm -hmm. I think if you, it's important to be surrounded, to have a, to be in a good environment. So I think tr what I see when I watch this video running every day, it motivates me to go and run. So I just watch him running and talking while he's running. And I'm like, Dude, mm -hmm. I need to run. What's my excuse? Mm -hmm. So these are things, this is what you need. I need to, I need people that are around me and people that I follow. And I don't follow a lot of people. So I follow people. I only follow people that matter to me. People that, you know, uh, influence me or affect me one way or another. So when I see people on Instagram, they have like, they follow like 7,000 people, you know, or whatever, just to follow. No, I follow people that impact me or that motivate me or, you know, have an impact on me one way or another. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really important. So I don't want to waste my energy. I don't spend, uh, you know, my whole time on Instagram or on social media. I look and I see, you know, what need to motivate me. And then I'm out there and I'm, and I'm busy doing what I need to do because, you know, you know, you have to uh, get things uh, done. So to, yeah. to kind of add on to that too, because I've been seeing some things recently where people have been mentioning how like, if you need to watch a video to get motivated, mm -hmm. or if you need to pay attention to something to get motivated, that's weak. And I don't necessarily think that's that's a weak thing to do. Because I remember when I was younger, I would, uh, do you remember Simply Shredded? Do you guys mm -hmm. remember any of those videos? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was this gym video from this uh, company, Simply Shredded, and I would watch that video every oh, yeah. time before I went to go lift in the gym and it would motivate me. A lot of videos like that with Ronnie Coleman and stuff mm -hmm. and people, you know, uh, somebody giving a speech and these guys lifting these crazy weights and stuff, right? And screaming and things like that. Absolutely. And I like, I don't think there's anything wrong with like using something like that. Like before I go to jujitsu, there's this young athlete I'll watch. His name is Mika Galvao. And I'll watch him because like the way he moves is beautiful. And I like, I want to kind of re record that before I go and I roll, right? And it's motivating. So I don't think there's anything wrong with paying attention to something that kind of pumps you up before you need to go do something. You might not need it all the time, but if it gets you going on a certain day, that's a good thing. There's a, I think motivation. I think there's also inspiration. Mm. And I think there's also just like knowledge. Like the more that you, the more that you know that something is reassuring and it's in your best interest, the more likely you are to probably do it the more likely you'll probably be motivated to do it. So if you just, if you know the benefits of zone two cardio, maybe you don't really like, maybe you don't like going on the elliptical. Maybe you don't, you know, but you're just like, well, it's supposed to be good for my heart, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And you, you listen to someone like Andrew Huberman, who you might not think that Andrew Huberman would be someone that's going to like really hype you up, but having that knowledge of getting the sunlight in the morning, uh, cold therapy, all these different things, we know that there's like massive benefit to that. So sometimes even just that, uh, can be motivating. Then once you start to do these things, start to feel better and feeling better or making small improvements is like probably the most motivating thing you'll ever feel. Yeah. Would you guys say it's almost sim similar to like kind of how pre-workouts have been kind of shitted on lately because it's like, well, if you need pre-workout, yeah. then are you really, you know, you're not getting enough sleep. I know we say that you're not getting enough sleep or whatever, but like, I don't know, having a little bit of caffeine might go a really long way for that workout. I think it could be really helpful for in a lot of cases. I, I would also just say again, like 
I do think that it's hard to kind of uh, communicate about this because there's a lot of times people just aren't putting in enough effort and they don't believe in themselves if, as you're pointing out. But I also believe that sometimes people are like redlining too much. They just go too hard. And then they need a pre-workout to lift. They need a pre-workout for jujitsu. And now they're like, man, I had a pre-workout. Then I had a pre-workout. Then I had a pre <laughs> And it's like, you need a pre-workout just to like read a book at night or something. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I got to brush my teeth. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, take this pre-workout. <laughs> and so you have to probably, you know, maybe take, take a step back and just ask yourself, like, am I legitimately recovering from these things? Because I shouldn't necessarily need this stuff just to have the energy to go and do this thing that I want to do. Perfect. Yeah, I think it's a creature of habit. I think people just, uh, I think it was just very trending and people got to it and, and they don't want to stop. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I, I'm, I'm, I'm one for, uh, I don't think people really need that. I mean, maybe there's ex exception and, and some people are sick or they have like issues, they, they're not sleeping right. And for me, if you have a good night's sleep and you wake up in the morning, you should be able to have you know, a very good and productive I picture day. you sleeping yeah. with a big smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> You're always so happy. You're like the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us down below there too. So you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.